Hi, my name is Angel Saxena. I'm a photographer from India and I especially love landscapes and nature. Recently I switched to English so that all of you can understand the videos better. So tag along as I show you the beautiful landscapes of the country and I hope that you get some education out of it as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Ore oh, bhai Very good morning guys. Namaskar. Uh today is the 18th of September. Uh Himanshu and I have come out on a very lovely morning. Uh well this week's video we are going to a place called Raisen. Well there's a fort there that's the ultimate destination for today. It's a little bit different from my usual content which is landscape photography but uh I'll do have some landscapes for you as well in this video. and that's exactly why we are stopped on the middle of the road now uh, we are on a bridge right now and uh, we have uh, a river passing by and uh, on both sides there are possible compositions to be made and uh, i have just taken out my tripod and my r5 and i will be taking some images on both sides let's see uh, what we can do here and uh, i will guide you through let's go <laughs> Also, there is a very small bit of clouds, uh, one over there and one over there, and they have lovely color in it. I will try to make sure to take some images right now. Let's go. <laughs> there are so many cows here uh should i be afraid no i think i think they are afraid of me uh or maybe my tripod <laughs> they are leaving already uh so yeah I, i took one image over there and i think it came out well but i think uh this particular spot gives a better vantage point that's what i'm doing i'm seeing uh, an s curve in the road uh, i think that will make for a good composition uh the clouds and the color in the sky is still here uh let's take another composition oh my god a cow is peeing not good content not good content okay. 6:55 am so uh guys we have finally reached the raisin fort uh well it's well over up there uh we have been there it's a very long hike actually uh it's a very tiring hike because the elevation is very steep uh we were not looking for it this morning but uh, we have to there is no alternate way to it park the car here obviously and uh now we go let's go buddy
so we have reached the fort uh, it was a tough hike up here uh, but we made it and uh, yeah i'm going to show you the views uh, what the fort is like here and uh, i'll be taking some pictures some horizontals some verticals this building over here is actually a temple uh, it has been renovated that's why the rock here is fairly new in comparison to the other parts of the building uh, the other portions of the fort uh, it looks very nice uh, i think they have recreated it quite nicely appropriately in fact but uh, yeah it, it does look quite new so uh, it takes a little bit of the old charm away but uh, i still like it i like how the shadows are casted last time also uh, i came in the morning so the shadow angle was obviously the same and uh, i did get some really good images of the whole place in itself uh, i'm going to take them again uh, let's take uh, maybe a close up of this uh, balcony area itself I am interested in that building over there. This was my that was my favorite image from the last time I was here. Uh and I really like how the highlight comes on only one end on one edge of the whole building. I am not sure what it is. Uh what portion of the fort was it? But I really like it and I will be going somewhere up there to take that image. Uh, or maybe I can take one from here as well. Uh let's do it. uh yeah so i am at a different spot of the fort uh there's a pond uh, right behind me uh it's quite deep i believe it must be something about 30 35 feet uh below and the water might be some more uh, meters deep uh it was supposed to you know provide for the water of the fort that's quite obvious and i think people used to swim in it as well because there are some stairs that you can go down to so that would have been an interesting time to live in uh and yeah i think there would be more maintenance uh, of the pool itself so i will be taking two images two at different exposures basically i will blend them so that there is some information in the pond area on the water and on the uh, fort as well uh, i will get some details in the highlights if i take another exposure exposing for the highlights itself so let's take these two shots first i am going for 1 by 13th of a second f11 uh, which will be for the exposure of the foreground element and then we'll see what will be the exposure for the fort I have locked focus after taking it on the foot. I have also turned off the stabilization. Okay. Uh now for for the highlights and for the foot area basically I'm going for 160th of a second. ISO is 100 F11. Uh there is no polarization or no ND filters.
there are some uh, plants on the edge and they have uh, red and green leaves i think they will make for a good image i can use the water and the ripples below uh, as a composition uh, as a subject basically let's try to take an image i will be using this uh, these two lines to frame my shot basically Uh, so this is the ruins of the Raisin Fort. The fort has been used by so many kings over the period of centuries. I would say it, it was. It began construction in uh, BCs in third century BC. So it has seen a lot. Uh, what's now? What's left now? Uh, is just this ruin. Uh, there is not much to photograph here unless the weather conditions are, you know. in favor so we won't be spending much time here uh, there's just one last vantage point that we'll go to the the back side of the fort uh, we're heading towards there we'll see if there's something and then let's go from here uh, all right guys so there wasn't much to show here uh, what i'll do is uh, i will roll some images from uh, the last time i was here because those images were fairly better we came in winters and the lighting was uh, appropriate and uh, so was the conditions and we came uh, at the proper time as well uh, so yeah uh, not much of a photographic video this time but uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next week uh, with the next video until then uh, you can subscribe and like and comment if you like that really helps the channel and uh, to see more landscape videos uh, which i usually do you can click up here and uh, on the card over there you can check the description below I will see you in the next one.